Hi, I'm Ian Thane. Welcome to another SAP Co Talk. I'm really pleased to have Stan Stadelman join me. I've got to ask you one question because I noticed that some developers have noticed that there are fewer UI label views in some of the complicated controls, and you started to replace them with text kit views. And I wonder whether you can just give us the uh, the why and the wherefores about that. Yeah, yeah, it, and it's a really um... It's an important note, um, and there's a very simple explanation. So um, the object cell is really kind of, a, I think, the reference use case for this, although all of, all of our controls are similar to this. Mm -hmm. um, and if you look at the object cell, you have a headline, a subheadline, a footnote, label. Um, when you're in compact mode, you then have a status and a substatus, either label or image view off on the right. Um, and then when you're in regular mode, you also insert a description label between the headline, the main stack, so to speak, and the status off on the right. You also, now that I remember, you also have the detail image view further left, and even furthest left, you have the icons. Mm -hmm. So there's there's on the order of 12, 12, 13, 14 UI elements in this control. And they are, the layouts for them are adaptive, meaning they respond to the different form factors for phone versus iPad, compact versus regular mode. Mm -hmm. uh, and they also are height adaptive, meaning that if there isn't a string <clears throat> for the footnote, then the cell should just be shorter. And to even go further, um, if there are multiple lines for the headline, then the cell should be taller. So these the layouts are incredibly complicated. And there's um, there's both a, a quality question of you know, making sure that we have rigorous test cases for all of these really complicated layouts. And there's also a runtime performance aspect of caching these layouts and computing these layouts to make sure that they are rendered by the auto layout system um, in order to give us the fastest scrolling performance. Um, so what we found was that we could reduce our problem of having all these different um, various variable height and variable string content sets into paragraphs. Mm -hmm. um, so if you think about how core text is designed to render whole books, really, you know, bullets, headers, titles, uh, paragraphs, sentences, uh, code snippets, the the system is designed to take several different formatted sets of text and render them according to the rules of the paragraphs. And we realized that that was exactly the problem that we had for something like a headline, subheadline, footnote. And also, um, the UI text view and NS text container, which is part of that text kit or core text stack, has a concept called exclusion paths, um, which in all of the examples you'll see on, on Stack Overflow are designed for like a magazine type layout where you have text and you want it to draw around an exclusion path of some image. Like you imagine a, a two column magazine page and then an image in the middle. Mm -hmm. And so for us, thing, having things like status text, which has to interact in a complicated way with the headline label or the subheadline label based on whether that string is there or not, we found that ac that actually could be really efficiently represented as an exclusion path in a text container. So we've basically, um, we've basically taken the content of those labels and the formats of those labels, and we compute attributed strings and then uh, concatenate the attributed strings into paragraphs and render those in just one text kit view. And the text kit view is basically just a lightweight UI text view. Um, and so we've managed to make it much more efficient at runtime. We ended up with, with somewhere between a 50 to 70% performance boost 
by reducing the number of views that get managed in, in a table view cell at runtime. Um, and we also made it much, much more flexible um, and robust from a quality perspective um, to be able to support all these different variants. So that, that's what you're seeing now when the labels, sometimes we still have the label API for backwards compatibility, um, or in the object uh, table view cell, you'll see something called a, a label proxy, which is taking the string and taking the attributes from that label, but it's simply just sucking all those out as an attributed string without presenting that view. Um, and that's for performance and for flexibility. Thank you for, for hanging out with me today. Yeah, thank you. Good to see you.